What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Station Bakery, and welcome to the Presidential Suite. Well, it's not really the Presidential Suite, it's really called the Ambassador Suite, but you know, it's all the same, right? We are here chilling at the Grand Hyatt in their Ambassador Suite. I'm bringing you how to make hot chocolate bombs in the Presidential Suite. So because we were on vacation, I didn't have any of my supplies handy. So we took a quick trip out to Michael's and purchased a few products. And so I'm going to see what I can do with what I purchased on short notice. There are a few typical materials and ingredients that are missing, but I think we can still make it work. Let's get into it. able to find a teacup and this saucer and a spoon so we're going to use this to melt down our chocolate I'm using the Choco Maker from Michaels flavored salted caramel Okay, so now we have our chocolate inside of the cup and I'm going to head over to the microwave and we're gonna melt this down. Okay, so I'm not really the biggest fan of candy melts, but I wanted to give this method a try. It's a different brand of candy melt than I would normally try. So I'm hoping that it melts down well, but if not, I have a backup plan just in case. As I suspected, the candy melts didn't work out too well for me. So my trick and tip that I did is I combined this white chocolate. Usually I would use almond bark, but because, you know, we just didn't have it on hand at the time, I did use this white chocolate and it really helped to give it a more smooth consistency. It's not as liquidy as I would normally like, but it does work. So that's what I did, and now it's time to fill our mold. These will be mini hot chocolate bombs because this isn't my regular size mold, and I believe these are maybe like one and a half inch, whereas my normal is like two and a half. So we're just gonna use these and fill them up. So now we have these filled and now we're going to pop them into the freezer for just a few seconds. So we're going to let those chill for just a few seconds. Then we're going to take them out, check to see if we need a second coat and then put them back in and then pop them out and get to the bit there. So while my chocolate is chilling in the freezer, I'm gonna go ahead and get this candle warmer set up. I've seen people use this method. I have not used it before so this will be my first time trying it out um i usually just use a cookie pan put it in the oven let it heat up and then i use that to melt down the edges of my hot chocolate bombs but again because we are on vacation and i don't have my normal utensils and materials i'll be trying out this method instead the warmer was fairly cheap to buy so you know we'll see we'll see how it works out Yeah, so I think it's on and we're just going to let that heat up. All right, now let's go check on our hot chocolate bombs. 
All right, so we have our hot chocolate bombs out of the freezer and they are very sturdy. I'm just going to go over with the second coat just around the edges to make sure that they're thick enough to be able to melt down and seal. Because the chocolate is already pretty cool, the melted chocolate will set up much quicker. So now I have them coated, and now we're going to pop them out, put them on the plate, and then take them over to the warmer to heat up. So here I have some mini cupcake liners. I'm going to take my halves and place them in these. This is really going to help minimize me handling the chocolate so much. It's gonna cut down on the heat from my hands, potentially melting down the chocolate. I've also covered my warmer with a piece of, with a piece of foil <laughs> so I can melt down my chocolate and it'll be easy cleanup and not mess up the actual warmer. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, by the way, I will not be filling these with hot chocolate because I did not purchase hot chocolate. So they'll literally just be chocolate melted down inside of the thing. But always remember that you can purchase salted caramel hot chocolate. I'll have that link in the description below for you to get. Um, or even just regular hot chocolate works as well. But just melting down the chocolate with some hot milk or water works as well. melted down the first bottom halves and I really think I like this method of using the warmer like it works out pretty well so I have this done this is the place where you will add in your hot chocolate and your marshmallows and again because I am short on materials and I'm not in my normal setting I will not have hot chocolate or marshmallows to put in but you can use salted caramel or regular hot chocolate or white hot chocolate whatever flavor hot chocolate you want to go inside of these you can do i'll have a link to the salted caramel hot chocolate that i will be using linked in the description below for you all right so i'm just going to continue on with the video So I have my hot chocolate bombs here. They've already been assembled and put together. Now it's time to try to decorate. So usually I would use a piping bag with some melted chocolate and drizzle it over the top. Well, I don't have that with me. So had to improvise and we're going to use melted down chocolate in a spoon and we're just gonna try to drizzle it over. But first I need a towel. Okay, so I put a towel down because this is going to get a little bit messy and I don't wanna mess up these gorgeous tables. All right, let's see how this is going to work. I don't know. Not the best, but not the worst. That's my, my chocolate is thickening back up, but I'm not gonna go put it back. And there we have it. <laughs> I think we did okay. I think we did okay. <laughs> if you think I did a great job using what I had and what I was able to go run out and get really quickly at the store, please wish that you give me a big thumbs up. 
hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you, my friends, can see when I post my next video. All right, so now it's the big test. How do they taste? Nothing here matters until we know how they taste, okay? So let's go try that out. Okay, so I saw this idea on Facebook, and so I want to give it a try and see what happens. So how do we, because we press the on button? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. I guess do that. Okay, we have our water in there already. Okay, here we go. Bomb in just in case. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, we're gonna take this one really quickly. see what happens there it goes okay yeah it popped open how cool would that have been if we would have had the marshmallows and the hot chocolate and stuff in there uh it works <laughs> i think it's done okay now let's get a spoon and stir okay this whole thing like dissolved mm -hmm. I think I probably should have put two bomb bombs in there. Cause I think this is probably like eight ounces of water. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now we just kind of have like chocolatey water. Huh. Chocolatey water. Let's get another bomb and just drop it in here. Yeah, so you definitely probably only want like four ounces of water for these minis. And again, it probably would have made a difference having the hot chocolate and the marshmallows in it as well. I'm just gonna, yeah, push that on in there. There it goes. And it's gone. Just like that, it dissolved. Let's stir it up. Yeah, I think this is still not enough. Yeah. So literally just like melted down chocolate. Yeah, that looks that looks like hot chocolate. Still have a few pieces in there. Okay. Now to taste it. Okay, so we have our freshly brewed salted caramel hot chocolate. You saw the whole video, you saw the whole process, but now it's time to taste and see if it is good. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's still pretty hot, so. Very hot. You know what, I'm gonna taste with my nostrils first and it smells like salted caramel, yeah. It would've been great if I had milk because it would've been a lot more creamy because of the water, it's a lot more watery. But let's see. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm really nervous. It's still hot. I don't want it to burn me. Yeah, it's a no for me. <laughs> it's a no for me. This is not it, y'all. Just know that this is not it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching that video with me, this crazy video, you know, making hot chocolate in the presidential suite. That whole process was a fail. That did not turn out good at all. But again, I was using what I had being off-site in a completely different town from where I normally do my work. It was such a great experience. It was so fun, you know, to be here in the ambassador suite and to just have this whole experience was pretty awesome. And although the end product, the taste did not turn out, you can still make excellent salted caramel hot chocolate bombs with that same process. But I would just advise you to use chocolate 
almond bar. You can get that from your local Walmart or another grocery store. Even I think the dollar store carries them. Use chocolate, the chocolate almond bar, melt it down, do the whole process the same way. Make sure that you fill it and add it with the salted caramel that will be linked in the description below. Add a couple of marshmallows. Use milk, water, or another beverage of your choice. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to turn out totally delicious and much better than using those candy melts in just water, right? So you have some options. Um, you can also check out a few of my other videos here that have been tested, they're tried and true. They're absolutely delicious. Take that same process, apply it, switch up your flavors, and voila, you have delicious hot chocolate bombs. Be sure that you give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out when I post my next video. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. As always, until next time, peace.